President Trump has been briefed on today's market sell-off in the Oval Office this afternoon, just before departing a few moments ago from the White House uh, on Marine One on his way to an event in Pennsylvania this evening. A senior White House official is offering a statement now on the market sell-off, saying this is a bull market correction. It's probably healthy. This will pass, and the U.S. economy remains strong. So the message from the White House is that this is a bull market correction. That obviously uh, is upbeat uh, language to use to describe an 800-point-plus sell-off here. Uh, but the message from the White House clearly that the bull market will continue uh, after this correction. Uh, they're saying that the U.S. economy uh, remains strong as well. Uh, White Houses in this type of situation on days like these in the past have always pointed to the fundamentals of the economy. Uh, and in this case, the White House is doing the same thing, saying the trend that we've seen in overall economic growth is not going to go away just because of one day of bad selling on Wall Street. <laughs> Eamon, will the uh, Chinese negotiators be licking their lips at the sight of this? That's a fascinating question. It, it does put some political pressure uh, on President Trump. The president just left the Oval Office a few moments ago, uh, did not take any questions at all from reporters uh, who were gathered on the South Lawn to try to get him to talk. Uh, so the, the president ultimately... Uh, the president ultimately uh, not responding to this today. We'll see what he says tonight uh, in Pennsylvania. He may address it there. He's always, he, he has talked about the stock market more than other presidents have talked about the stock market. The White House initially, at, at the very early days of this administration, said that they view this as a mark-to-market -market business. They very much view the, the Dow as a barometer of their success. So uh, they will not be happy to see this today, and they will not be happy to see any commentary that might link uh, what's going on in the markets to the president's uh, global trade practices as well.